Hi, and welcome to another marketing tip. I'm glad to have Roman Villard with from Full Send with me. How are you doing? Excellent. Awesome. Great to be here. Yeah, thanks. Um, apologize for my big face. I had a wisdom tooth taken out yesterday, so a little bit swollen, looked like Don Corleone in The Godfather. Um, and yeah, have to ask you a question that you can't refuse. So um, the, the first thing I wanted to ask you is just tell me a little bit more about yourself and, and your firm, please, Roman. Yeah, sounds great. So I'm Roman Villar, founder of Full Send Finance, uh, CPA of about 13 years. And uh, here at Full Send, we manage full cycle accounting and financial advisory for startups, generally uh, seed through Series B. Cool. You've got your elevator pitch dialed. I'm sorry? You've got your elevator pitch dialed. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to. If you're working with startups, you got to get your clear and concise elevator pitch. It's important. <laughs> I get that. Well, yeah, let us know what your number one marketing tip is, please, Roman. Yeah, so for marketing, I've leaned heavily into social media content. And for me, that's LinkedIn. And the the two most important things, I'll, I'll give you two, but the two most important things that I've found, number one is just consistency. If you're going to commit to a, a methodology of getting content out there, you have to be consistent with it. Um, the second part of that is that when you get started in content creation, in posting on a, on a specific medium, you're going to tend to want to compare yourselves to others who you see are doing it really, really well and maybe doing it full time. And when you start to do that, it becomes really defeating. And so you really have to stay authentically true to who you are and, and the message that you want to share um, and, and really lean into that when you're starting to create content, because that will resonate far more with an audience than having to force yourself into maybe sharing things that you wouldn't ordinarily share does, isn't true to yourself. Yeah, I think that's an awesome tip. And maybe if I could just ask one more question, if people are struggling to get started with content because it's hard. Um, you know, you do it well, but it's hard, right? Um, could they start with things like commenting and, and that kind of thing as, as a sort of, yeah, like an easier way in than, than committing to a full content schedule? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say first, before starting, it'd be important to recognize why do you want to do it? Is it more for personal fulfillment? Is it for lead generation? There's many reasons to do it. Um, but once you identify your core purpose for wanting to start to create content, then you can start. Um, you can start by simply commenting on posts to your point. You can engage with others' actions and people that you see in your industry that you're targeting um, to start to get your name, your voice out there. Um, and that starts to create some recognition around maybe who you are and name recognition so that when you do start posting, people have familiarity uh, with you uh, once you start to let your voice uh, uh, get out into the market. Awesome. Hey, that's a super practical tip. Thanks for sharing it, Ron. Absolutely. Thanks for here having me. Thank you.